<clears throat> hey guys, Randy RJ here. Welcome you back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, Waker HD. In the last episode, we, we've we entered the um, Dragon Roost Cavern and we managed to find Metley and save and save Metley. And we learned from Metley that, that some creature is is attacking Valu's tail. So now in this episode, we're going to continue exploring this dungeon and try to find a way to, and try to find a way to enter this Try to find a way to, to enter the room that that's and find a monster that's attacking Valu. Jesus, I am bad with intros. I am terrible. I am terrible with, with intros. Whew. Okay, now then. Oh, don't hit me. See, I'm afraid. I'm, see, I'm afraid that they might knock me off. They probably can too if they wanted to. All right, now in this room, there you, you can see this. Um, you can see that little um alcove there. Now there is something in there, but unfortunately you can't see it because it's invisible. Now in order to get was over there you need some bombs and we don't have no bombs so we're we're gonna have to come back to this later much later on originally you could get originally you could um get the item using using the tinga tingy tuner but the tinga tuner but we no longer have the tinga tuner tuner in this um version of the game so yeah we'll come back to that later much later when we have bombs. I am so good at, at, at explaining things, ain't I guys? I don't know, I guess I'm not, I don't know. Maybe when, maybe I talk so fast, I, I, maybe I should just like slow down a little bit. Now then, hit the switch here, and, and the flames go out, but the moment you step off the switch, the flames turn back on. Now, in order to get to this treasure chest, oh, come on, your mouth, your mouth, come here. Hit this switch for me. No, don't throw him. Put him down, Ray Link. Put him on the switch. Thank you. Big key, okay, it's the big key. You got the big key. Use it to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. View this map screen 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 and see for yourself. And that You know what? I'm gonna let him live. He helped he helped me out. I'm gonna let him live. Here we have fire keys. Now what I don't understand is why would these fire keys appear out of nowhere after afterwards? It's like it's like they disappear out of nowhere after you had the big after, after you had the big key. Oh, you know what? I can swing. What? I can, I mean swing. I can move while swinging. See I'm, see, I'm thinking about the old mechanics for, for what for whatever reason. Anyways, go this way. Drop down. All right, hurry up! Come on. You know, you know, it has to be really hot for. Oh shoot. It has to be really hot for Link because he's so close to the lava. Well, magma, I guess. No. Would it be magma? No. Lava. I think. No. Magma is, is underground. Eh. Eh. I don't know. 
I, I'm a noob. And it's all you hear, and it's all you've heard that buzzing. That's my cell phone, cell phone vibrating. Oh. Goodbye. And you. Thank you. Look, look. I try to make you live, okay? And you want and you want to fight me. So that's what you get. You're dead now. That's you. You have no one to blame but yourself. Anyways, I don't know. I, I don't know. I probably should have skipped this part out. I mean, it's the same. I mean, it's the same ways. But eh. you guys don't mind, do y'all? Okay, now we're back. Now, what I want to do now is get the remaining treasure. Get the remaining <clears throat> remaining treasure treasure chest. There's two here, and there's one on the first floor. So we're gonna go to the first floor now. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Thank you. I know people are probably freaking. I know some people people might be freaking out about why are you getting all these joy pendants. Trust me, guys. It'll come. It'll they'll come in handy later on. So you might as well grab as many as you can, as you possibly can. Now to go over here, and I almost fell off. And I almost fell off the, the uh, cliff. Here we have ourselves another treasure chart. Okie okie dokie. Okie dokie. Does anyone, does anyone even say okie dokie, okie dokie anymore? Okie dokie! Thank you. Thank you. What? I said thank you. He just suddenly tried to attack me. Alright. Yep. We're good. I was just I was just checking to see if there was any more treasure treasure chest that I might have missed. But we're but we're good. Ow. What 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 are you what? Hey! Hey! Thank you. Now die. <laughs> that was weird. Now, then, anyways, we got a yellow rupee. Okay, that's great and all. And what do we have here? Ah, here we go. We got ourselves a nice crest. All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of a crest just as, just as this. Remember, um, or, old man Orca, he wants he wants ten of these, so that's a so that's a start. Mm. Nah, I don't need it. But in here though is a fairy. Cause I already got red rupee, red, red rupee, red potion, and I do feel confident. And there's also another fairy in here. But anyways, here we go. You guys ready? Our first boss battle. Let's do it.
Here's our first boss, uh, Goma. And as you can see, he's totally immune to all your attacks. It doesn't matter what you do. You can't harm him. You can't. You can't throw your um grabbing hook at him. He just he just he he'll, he'll just use his eyes. He just he pretty much seems he pretty much seems invincible, right? This is where you gotta do this. Like it's like it's totally out of the blue, but this is how you but this is how you fight Goma though. You latch onto Vado's tail and grab him and grab him hook. And that'll cause that uh that um ceiling of rock to fall on Goma's head, cracking his crack, cracking his um exoskeleton. Oh god, the frame rates. The frame rates though. <laughs> now then that's one. We're about to do it again. Oh, I'm gonna miss am I? I miss. Dang it. Let me hurry up and get behind him. He can't because he doesn't cause because I have a few minutes to act before he can before he can find me. Frame rates though. And here comes number 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 three. Now I gotta say the first time I the first the very first time I fought this guy, he was tough. Like I didn't know what to do against against the first time the first time I, I fought against him. But now that I know how to fight him though, he's not so tough. Uh, you got thank you. Oh, I said come here. Now die. But there we go, though. A very first boss. Dead. Holy crap, the frame rate! That was kind of, that was funny right there when he blew when Goma blew up and the game just slowed down there because of the frame rates. But other than that though, we save Valu. He should be pleased now. Let's let's go. Link. Hello, Medley and Kamali. Well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Link, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Link. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Link? Uh, I don't know. Until until he gets a little tougher. But yeah, he, maybe. But yeah, maybe he could be like Link one day. So he, so so Link, here. I want you to I want you to take this Link. 
Giving you the thing I value most will give me will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You received Den's Pearl. This is the gem that Ritu's claim was passed down from the great goddess. The great Valu is, is grateful to you, Link. Use the wind god's win? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. The wind god's win. I wonder if that if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through the tunnel. That tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The great Valu also names you Link a true hero. I agree with them. As far as we're concerned, Link, you really are a hero. Well, I'm gonna go and visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. Hey, Prince Kamali! Thanks so much, Link. See you again someday. Aww. Bye, bird girl. I miss her already. Now then, let's go through this tu tunnel and let's see what Valu is talking about. The Wind Shrine. Hmm. Let's see here. It's broken. There appears to be markings that indicate specific directions. All right. You learned the Wind's Requiem. Yep, that's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zap Zappos. I'm the god of winds. Zappos. So you're the new Wind Wicker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like a kid. That tune you just picked up, well, it gives you control over the over the direction the wind blows. Depending on how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother. It saddens me to see that to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now he spends his time creating cy cyclones to tournament tournament people with. So, if you if you if you encounter any cy cyclones at sea, sessis my my brother for me, will will you? And that is my request for you. So yeah, if we ever if we ever find any cyclones, we should we should uh, brain fart there. Sorry about that. We should um try we should try. Well, I don't know. I don't know what we can do for against cyclones. To be honest, it would seem that Ganon sent those monsters to this place. But that would mean there is no time to lose. We must depart at at once for the place where the where the next pearl sleeps. We sail to the south. All right, before we do that. To the south. Oh, I gotta do it this way now? Oh, right. Yeah, now we got the grappling hook. Now, now we got, now we got a shellfish arm. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's nothing on the water. So, you know what? Give me a minute, guys. Let me open these um treasure charts real fast. Oh, oh, there's one right, right, right here. Whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, 
Yeah, I can hear right now. Uh, how? I think it's right here. No, it's always here. No. So I can hear it, but I don't. Right here. It's right here. It has to be. Talk about lucky. I just happened to open up, I just happened to open up that treasure chest. Treasure truck and, and this one and this a, and, and this one right right in front of me. Even though unfortunately I did kinda of waste that though because it was two hundred it was two hundred rupees and I'm already filled now my wallet's already filled up. Oh well. I think that's it though. Is no, I didn't open this one up. All right, here we go. Hoy, hold it right there, small fry. I don't know where you got your mitts on that seed chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but seeds drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost an insult to call that thing a seed chart, if you ask me. <laughs> What's the matter, small fry? I'm just telling you, I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm, te I'm telling you what you've got. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you, it makes you look like you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here to teach you what you know, what I know about this island. So open up the seed chart and make it snappy. There's a real, there's a real pe pe to peculiar cave towards the backside of, of this here Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar. But I doubt you'll ever get there to see a small fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can tell you, small fry. Well, I will do this for you. Since I'm feeling so generous, I'll send words to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. Good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near an island, <clears throat> sail up to it and spread bait out on out on the water's surface. Trust me, this is a good advice, Fry. See, the bait progress allows you to get a, a chart of the island, a lot, along with any info that might be you might be of use to you. I highly recommend you take a, make a habit of doing so. See, you see, you're definitely gonna need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't, I can't empathize that that enough, Fry. You need a well, a well drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. Now, don't say I, I never did anything for you, Fry. Hoy, you there, you kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. So yeah. So yeah, if we come across any islands, we should we should find any, any of these uh, fish creatures and 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 have them and have them um, mark our map. Let's see, like this one for example. No, there's no point. I'm already got I already got a bunch of rupees. Let's see. There he is, right to my right to my right. Pause the game real fast, so I will have to say though that is that is the one downside about trying to um get your items, trying to get your items on, on the fr on the fly. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I should stop trying to tr stop trying to slide and, and just press whichever button I want to put it to. Hoy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart information about this island. Then start by opening up your seed chart. Fire Mountain. 
You see that? You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah. Well, they say there's a great treasure here inside that thing. The thing is, the thing is, everyone who, who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by that by the great balls of fire that came soon up off the top. You want to go inside? You ought to go. You ought to go find the island that's one south, one square north, and four squares west of here. That's where the power to freeze anything is hidden, or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to, to look, Fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. You want to hear it again? You have to throw some more bait on the water for for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go find Eve on, on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Mm. Uh, we're going this way. Whew, my throat's about to die on me. <laughs> so I kind of want to go. So I kind of want to go over to that platform there, but I don't think it's. But I don't think it's really worth it, though. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Hmm, what to say, what to say? I don't know, I can't, I don't, can't, can't really think of anything too, interest, too interesting to talk about. Hmm. Scared. <laughs> that actually scared me. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, though, that that creature we just passed by, that's an otter rock. Yeah. yeah. Mighty fine boat you got there, Buck. You might you might you must be searching for treasure on the sea floor too, aren't you? You won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless, fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. You know, with all the weak island dwellers who, who never left their shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little guy out here. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So, so hey, bub. Tell you what, as one treasure hunter to another, I'll give this to. I'll give you this. You'll definitely, you'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I also won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just grab it. I'm not complaining. I'm ta I'm taking it. First, open your map on the Wii U gamepad, and then compare the island charts on the on the right with the treasure, treasure charts on the left to see where where treasure lies. When you press plus to pause the game, you can take your sweet time pouring over. Yeah, that's what yeah, that's what I should start doing. Sweet time pouring over the charts. After all, haste makes waste. <laughs> then you then you can just use your grappling hook while in your boat to haul up treasure. Just you just press right on the control pad. With e easier as you like. Yeah, those grappling hooks. Nothing pulls up stuff like those things. Well, little treasure buddy, good good luck to all the, to all of us. Happy hunting. Bye bye. bye, -bye. I like that. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna stop it here. It's okay. In the next episode, we're going to continue our journey down down to our next destination. So until then, guys. Have a great day. Peace.